all right guys what's up so I have a tutorial on how to balance your kendama but before I do the drilling the hole you need to find out if you need it or not so I'm going to teach you what makes a good lunar kendama and how to balance your kendamas and the best thing for this is just to buy a gram scale so I'm going to leave a link in the description on where you can buy this one you can buy any gram scale it doesn't really matter so a lot of people were asking about why I drilled the C. Fraser mod and it was because the lunar balance wasn't good. So what bad lunar balance means is when you get it up to lunar and you you can just put it on there and try to hold it and just try to lean it back a little bit, a little tiny bit. And if you notice that with that little effort you're giving leaning it back, it's already starting to fall off or it falls off you probably have bad lunar balance but you can check this with a gram scale so let me just show you what should I start with let me show you kendamas that aren't good for lunar balance that I'm gonna be drilling in the part two of this video so I have this uh, I forget what this is called some kind of gur and then this pink avid and this cream gur so these three don't really have good lunar balance but I never got around to drilling them for some reason so let's see why that is so I'm going to remove the Serato from the spike and I'm gonna turn on my gram scale I'm gonna wait for it to get to zero and then I'm gonna weigh both of these so let's start with the Ken okay so the spike part is 41 and let's see the cups 30 so it's 10 grams off so that means that's why it has bad lunar balance because there's too much weight down here in this part of the spike because it's very rare that you have the weight that's all up here because down here it's so thick most of it is here so by drilling it you're removing the weight from here okay so let's check the next one this avid this avid like you lean it back and it starts to fall down really quickly so see it does not have I can feel it sometimes you can just feel it you don't even need a gram scale you can feel that it's heavy right here so let's try it out this oh shit okay this part 36 and the cups 33 okay so it this is three grams heavier it's not too much of a difference but that could be what's causing the lunar balance to be bad you almost always want them to be equal if you can get them to be equal they usually have good lunar balance or maybe like the cups being one gram heavier so that you have good lunar balance but you're not sacrificing other things I'll go over that in a while so the next one this cream let's see the spike is 40 and the cups are 32 so yeah the the spike part is way heavier that's why it's bringing it down and making it fall off so I'm gonna be drilling these in the part two now let's look at my best lunar kendamas that I have so you can see what makes a good lunar kendama so I have this TK16 let's see how it weighs spike is 33 cups are 33 this is why it has such a good lunar balance just overall great lunar balance on this kendama yeah all right next one let's try this rojo gt that by the way shout out to austin kush he literally just gave me this when he landed penguin airplane trip tap penguin airplane go follow him on instagram it's uh kush dot dama i'll link it in the description so let's weigh this. So, spike is 36. Cups are 41. Okay, so the cups are heavier. This makes the lunar balance a lot better because the cups are the ones weighing down on the tama. You see, the cups are the ones that are putting pressure down and not letting this tip over. So yeah, it's uh, I think it was, what, 4 grams heavier than the spike? you can't have the cups be too heavy I'll, I'll talk about that in a while but yeah this has good lunar balance next one my 
GT that I bought. It's a GT16. Love this thing for lunars. You can almost never go wrong with a GT for lunars. They're just it's because of the swoop. They take they basically already drill the hole for you because they're just removing parts of the wood from the swoop. So let's see. Spike 36 cups 35.75. So it's almost the same. Yeah, they're almost equal. So that's why it's good at lunars. Next, I have this CWCS things honed for lunars. Let's weigh it. Spike 36 cups 35.4. So yeah, almost equal. That's what makes a good lunar kendama when you can find it equal. It's so hard to find that though because kendama wood is so so like not consistent you can never get like two different birch trees will have like two different weights because wood is just not consistent at all it's not like metal to where it'll all weigh the same it'll never weigh the same and you can never you know get a perfect kendama well you can for instance i think this cwcs is balanced at everything cups and base cup are almost the same and then i think ken is 70 and Tama is 72 so when it's everything is balanced it'll also not make juggles and spacewalks awkward because if you have a Tama that's like let's say it's like 30 grams and you have a Ken that's like 60 or something it'll it'll feel like you're juggling a bowling ball in a feather so always good to have a gram scale you can check them you can trade Tamas that weigh differently so yeah so that brings me to these two these two are drilled holes that failed on me they didn't fix the lunar balance and that's just or actually no this one did this one did not i don't know what i did because i weigh them let's see spike is 36 cups are 32 so this spike is still heavier after I drilled, I drilled a lot. It's like all the way up to this ring. So it's just, I guess this was way too heavy. And even though I drilled it, there's still a lot of weight in there because it's just so condensed right here. Sometimes you can't fix it, you know? You just gotta work with what you have. So this one, I did fix the lunar balance way better than it was. But since I took more weight off, this Ken was already really light. Well, it's not really light, just this Tom is so heavy. So I took more weight off of it. Now it really does feel like I'm juggling a feather and a bowling ball. So I kind of, there are downsides to drilling your Kens. So remember that. This is another downside, okay? So I haven't drilled this. This is a Freshy Soul Pioneer that I won at Chad Sesh in Michigan and let's see let me wait i forgot how much it weighed okay spike 27 cups 37 the cups are 10 grams heavier than they can which is really w rare usually you don't find the cups being heavier but in this instance they are and what it does is so this is an example of you drilling your hole when you don't need it. So for example, if I drill the hole in this setup that's almost exact and I made the cups heavier by taking weight off from the base cup, this is what happens, okay? If you don't need it, you end up with a kendama that's super wonky for jumping sticks and lighthouses. And what I mean by that, it's like the flip, it flips weird. Like because, uh, let's see because there's no weight down here and the weights right here you just feel that it's weird so the best best instance you can get is a completely balanced dama like the cwcs or i think this gt is almost completely balanced too so that's what you're looking for and i drilled a hole in this i haven't drilled it deep just up until like right here i might drill it some more because the base cup is still heavier than the cups let's see Base cup is 38, 
cups are 35 so the base cup is still heavier but it lunars now before the lunar balance was just so so bad so you can imagine how heavy the base cup was before i drilled it so yeah i recommend getting one of these gram scales for yourself weighing your damas making sure that the tama and the ken are similar weights and the spike and the cups are similar weights or that you have slightly heavier cups not too much heavier and that's how you fix your lunar balance also another way to fix lunar balance without having to drill a hole just push your cups down because chubby little spikes will never do lunars let me see if i have a kendama with an exaggerated small spike wait um let's see oh this one yes this kendama is such a small spike oh no you know what i have a better example never mind wait i'm gonna put this down i have a shenzu over here let me just see where it is oh um <laughs> Yeah, this is it right here. This is a pumpkin. Pumpkin Gur Shenzu, signed by Chris Bosch. Oh, and Jack Covington, too. And has such a small spike, such a short spike. And what that does, it's there's not enough weight over here. Like, there's too much weight on this side. And if you push the cups very, very low, you'll have them more down here. And it's like adding weight to this side of the can, okay? So you're adding weight to this side so that the lunar stays easier. So it's still lunars, this kendama, but definitely, definitely not the best. See, like it tips back. And the simple solution to this kendama is just to push the cups down. Let me weigh it just to see how much it weighs. Okay, spike is 33 cups are 34 see so the cups are perfectly fine it should have good lunar balance the only thing that's wrong with it is i need to push the cups down further so yeah i just push them down every once in a while they'll get looser and looser but sometimes it's not good to mess with bamboo because they will split just disclaimer so yeah so if you avoid your kendama and you get something similar to these three to where the base cup is way too heavy go over to my part two so i can show you how to drill the hole in it all right, guys. See you.